Uh, no, it should be great fun, actually. Uh, we've been friends for a long time. Well, I should probably tell a joke. You want a joke, joke? I didn't tell you this. I, whenever I see Gordon, I always have a joke for him. He'll like this one. <laughs> Guy comes out of a pub about 10 o'clock at night. Irish nun across the street. Look at you, drunken bum. Look at you, drinking. You're going to get cirrhosis of the liver. Your parents, are, your parents are ashamed of you. Your kids are embarrassed by you. He's just out. He runs across the street and says, hey, let me tell you something, not okay? I don't have any kids. I'm not married. My parents died a long time ago. Second of all, I'm not drunk. I just had a couple of drinks. He goes, do you drink? She goes, no, I don't drink. Well, maybe if you had a drink once in a while, you'd know it's not so bad. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll buy you a drink, okay? If you drink it and drink the whole thing, then you can talk, but not before then. She goes, well, I don't, I don't do that. He says, the guy says, okay, what are you drinking? She goes, I don't know. What do ladies drink? He says, gin. She says, no, I don't have a gin. But she says, look, put it in a... a don't put it in a glass or a bottle. Put it in a teacup. I wonder if people they can understand on the street corner drinking gin. He goes, I'll put it in a teacup, fine. He goes, and he says to the bartender, uh, give me a beer and give me uh, two shots of gin in a teacup. <laughs> but says, that damn nun out there again? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not that funny, but yes, yeah. But anyway... Yeah, yeah. So we'll see what happens tomorrow night. It's it's um, it's not going to be political. You know that you can't because it's can't be political because there's really only one joke you can do, and you can't do that joke. So so we'll talk about American life and culture, and I think it'll be fun. We'll talk about a little bit about the news, but not what's really in the news. But 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 so so it, it, it's it'll be diplomatic. It'll be good to do that. Yeah, and we don't want to embarrass Gordon. But thanks, and it's a thrill I mean, to, to meet the men and women in our armed forces. I always get a thrill. You know, I, I'm fortunate. I didn't serve, but I got a couple of West Pointers in my family, and my brother was a Vietnam veteran, and a couple of uncles that were lifelong military in the Army. In fact, my Uncle John used to do the USO shows for uh, with Sinatra and those guys from World War II, so whenever I get a chance to meet these guys, it's, it's always a real honor and a real thrill, so uh, that just that alone is, is exciting for me. So so thank you, and Kay, thank you so much for having me here. This is a, this is a beautiful, I feel like I'm in a Jason Bourne movie around here, don't you? <laughs> you know, there's like cars zipping down the streets and cobblestones and things, it just feels kind of an exciting place to be. So, but, but thank you, and I'll see you all tomorrow night, so thanks you guys. Thank you, thank you Jay, and I want to also add my welcome to General Walters.